In hypothesis testing, we're concerned about the null hypothesis. So, for example, if the null hypothesis is true, we really want to accept the null hypothesis. So, um, and when we're talking about hypothesis testing, we usually say fail to reject the null hypothesis. So really fail to reject really means kind of accept the null hypothesis. And that would be the correct decision. Now, if the null hypothesis is actually true and we collect data and we reject the null hypothesis and take the alternative hypothesis, that would be incorrect. So it, the null hypothesis is actually true, but we reject the null hypothesis. And so that is called a type one error. So that would be a type one error. Now, if the null hypothesis is actually false and we reject the null hypothesis, that is the correct decision. So that is the correct decision. But if the null hypothesis is false and we fail to reject the null hypothesis, therefore accepting the null hypothesis, we, we create a type two error. So uh, type one error and type two error are kind of just two ways to make errors in this hypothesis testing. And to, to illustrate this further, I kind of have a silly example here. We have the null hypothesis that you are not pregnant. So not pregnant. And then the alternative hypothesis, you are pregnant. And this first drawing here, or this first figure, shows the example of a type 1 error, sometimes called a false positive. Obviously, we have a man here, and the doctor is saying you're pregnant. So, actually, the null hypothesis is true, and we're accepting the alternative hypothesis. So, we reject the null hypothesis saying that the person is pregnant, all right? So this is an example of a type one error. A type two error is a false negative. Now, obviously this woman is pregnant and the doctor is saying you're not pregnant, okay? So the null hypothesis is not true, it's false, but we are accepting the null hypothesis. So this is a type two error, a false negative. And these are the two types of mistakes that you can make or errors that you can make in hypothesis testing.